All right, back here with another iOS 26 video. And so this beta uh, does not actually include that many new changes. It's primarily a bug fix and a uh, slight tweaking to the overall interface. So let's go ahead and get started. Uh, first off, it involves the wallpapers. There are actually a few new wallpapers included with this. Uh, so as you can see on the left-hand side of the screen here, uh, that is beta 2. And in beta 2, uh, you can see here that uh, there is only one wallpaper under the iOS section. Whereas over here, if we jump into settings, scroll down, go to wallpaper, hit add new wallpaper, and then scroll down to the iOS section, down here, right here, you can see now in beta 3, we have uh, four total wallpapers. So they've added three additional ones to this section. Uh, which is nice so you just have a little bit of additional color variations that you can now choose from for that particular design uh the next thing is again go, referring back to the little bit of tweaks involving the overall user interface uh, with the liquid glass so the liquid glass has gotten a little bit of a modification uh, it's very very minor it's not really that noticeable if you don't actually look for it uh, but the control center uh, here is control center in beta 2 on the left side and in beta 3 uh, is over here and basically there to me it seems like there's a slight bit more translucency than there was previously uh, in the various different menus however it does still retain that increased contrast that Apple basically added uh, back in beta 2 uh, so it's still not as clear as it was uh, in beta 1 and this also carries over to the music and podcasts app. So if I jump into the music app here, uh, the little bars down here at the bottom for the now playing and the library and radio sections, uh, you can see it's kind of a little bit different. It does seem like it has a bit more transparency, but also has that increased contrast. So it is definite uh, that Apple is tweaking this and trying to get the liquid glass look uh, to be just right. Um, a, basically a good balance between very reflective and clear or uh, translucency to readability. So that's kind of what they're trying to do here. Um, so uh, the functionality is overall the same. You can tap between the two uh, menus just like so to get to where you need to be. And then if we jump over to the podcasts app, we can jump into there. It basically retains that similar design as the music app uh, with the now playing screen or uh, now playing window there and the tabs at the bottom. And the overall interface again moves and kind of shifts out of the way when you start to scroll up and then they come back when you scroll down. Um, so again, the contrast is definitely increased, um, but if I go into say out of dark mode here, uh, we can see what that looks like. Um, definitely on a white background, uh, the look of the translucency in the um, little menu icons is definitely less noticeable than in dark mode. You can see there it kind of auto-switched to dark mode. You can see uh, more kind of reflections. But if it goes light, it's really not very noticeable that it's particularly uh, liquid glass. Um, again, those buttons do modify or change around still, just the same as they did before. Uh, this next one involves maps, but I can't actually show it on this particular device that I'm running the beta on, because uh, this particular device is an iPhone SE. Um, but this pertains to devices that do not have a home button. And so in the Maps app, and you're navigating using directions, um, the top of the screen will have a... Uh, the directions of where your next turn is going to be. And within that little menu, the bottom section of the menu is more translucent than it was before. And well as the little grab handle moved from kind of the top portion to the bottom of that particular little direction menu. So not a big change there, but again, just a slight tweak. Um, another thing, now this is not involving the design, uh, but this involves how something works, and that is how screenshots work. So previously in beta 2 uh, and beta 1, um, the way screenshots worked is if you clicked 
and took a screenshot, it would basically immediately jump you into the editing menu. As you can see on the left side of the screen here uh, with beta 2, uh, it will just basically immediately go straight to the editing menu. But in beta 3 now, it basically retains the previous functionality how it is in iOS 18 currently, where it gives you a little preview down in the bottom left of the screen that you can act on. So you can either tap it and open it up manually to get to the editing controls, or if you wanted to simply save the, short, uh, the screenshot, you just slide it away and it goes to your Photos app. Uh, so I do prefer it this way uh, much more than immediately having to go into the editing menu. Uh, that got a little bit annoying after a while, so I'm glad they reverted this back. And lastly, it is involving the volume slider. Uh, so in Beta 2 and Beta 1, uh, the volume slider would not always show the liquid glass effect. So as you can see here, how it has the, just a little line on the side of the screen. Um, there would be occasions where pressing that would only bring up the little line on the, uh, th the thin volume slider on the uh, side of the screen rather than starting out with the bigger one, as you can see here. Uh, so in beta three, that seems to be fixed, uh, which is nice. And yeah, so that's basically the most notable changes within iOS 26 Beta 3. Hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and I'll see you guys in the next one.